When I describe some of the games I love to my non-gamer friends, their eyes sort of glaze over as they tune me out before telling me, I'm sorry dude, that just sounds way too complicated. Well, the beauty of a game like Flux is that the rules are incredibly simple. You draw a card, and then you play a card. Ish. You see, the thing is the rules are constantly in flux. Today on Tabletop, my friends Chloe Dykstra, Alex Albrecht, and Jordan Mechner are here to play the latest themed version of Flux with me. It is set in a world that is very familiar to some of us. This is Star Flux. Flux is a fast-paced, weird, silly card game that was designed by two NASA scientists. This is the game that proves definitively that scientists have a sense of humor. Don't take my word for it, that's science. The basic rules are very simple. You draw a card and you play a card. When you play a card, you can change the rules. Now we have to draw three cards. Now we have to play four cards. The rules are constantly changing. You win the game by putting keeper cards on the table in front of you, but you don't know which keeper cards are actually valuable and which ones are worthless until a goal is established. But don't get too attached to the goal because the goal is also going to change. Now we can play these action cards on our turns that let us do neat and special things, and we can also play surprise cards when it's not our turn just to mess with the other players in the game. Star Flux, the version of Flux we're playing today, introduces these cards called Creepers. Creepers attach themselves to Keepers and make it impossible for you to win the game. This kind of Creeper, Malfunction, attaches to a Mechanical Keeper. This kind of Creeper, Brain Parasites, attaches itself to a Biological Keeper. Some of our Keepers will also give us special powers that we can use. Are you confused? Don't be. The rules are going to change. It is time to play Flux. My name is Alex Albrecht. I started a uh, internet television show called Dignation about six and a half years ago. Hi, I'm Chloe Dykstra, and I'm a game reviewer slash model slash TV host. I'm Jordan Mechner. I'm a writer and game designer. I did a game called Prince of Persia and one before that called Karateka. All right, so uh, Chloe, you're going to go first. All right. Right now, our basic rules are draw one, play one. We all have three cards. Do you Do feel free to look? look at them now? All right. And, uh, and, and let's go. Let's play Flux. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and draw. I have no idea what I'm doing. Just take one and throw it on the table and hope it works. I think I might have to play uh, Teleport Chamber. Oh, Lord. All right, all right. Chloe's first keeper mm -hmm. is a Teleport Chamber. Uh, my turn. Drawing a card. And playing a card, I will say that our goal right now is to have the City of Monsters. So the player who has the alien city and the bug-eyed monster on the okay. table it, well, will win the game. You can't have a strategy in Flux. My, my strategy today was to have fun with some extremely funny people. Ooh, my favorite kind right. of monster. <laughs> yes. I hate those right. normal-eyed <laughs> monsters. I know, they're not even frightening at all. I know, it's like, well, I can't, I can't take you seriously, monster. I can right. see you. Right. Yeah, yeah. The engineer. Yes. Right. Engineer. So that's a keeper subject to brain parasites. Okay. Also, it's a great card because it kind of looks like Kaylee. Yeah, I was going to say. Gonna say it's All right, Alex, oh. you're up. Excuse me, I, my millionaire vocalization. <laughs> no, you sound like you're talking about tearing down an amusement park. <laughs> Those kids don't need that land. We need condominiums. Uh, we need condominiums. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna play the laser pistol. If a creeper has attached itself to your keeper, then uh, then, then that the keeper's then... on my laser pointer. All yeah. right, draw two and use him. It is. I'll go ahead. Oh, and nice action! That. Chloe's got I, an action card. So here's the discard pile. Now you have to play both, right? Yeah. This is where you get the fun flux, where you're yeah. like, uh, I don't want to play this card. Yeah. Some of the early fluxes are pretty quick and and a little easier, but the star flux is way more complex. This has a little bit more, like the keepers do things and the creepers attach to things rather than just being there. I mean, so it's. It's really fun. All right, so, well. What's this card? Punch yourself have... in the face? <laughs> That's a terrible <laughs> card. I hate that. Uh, no, that sucks. It's um, the stop hitting yourself stop card. Hitting yourself. <laughs> stop hitting yourself. 
So we've got what doctor <clears throat> where. The player who has the doctor and the time traveler on the table <gasps> wins. That's my favorite All goal right, so, so that's far. a new goal. I'm going to take the old goal and discard oh, it. Oh, we discard okay. it. Okay, and then we yeah. have the space jackpot. Oh, my God. Space jackpot! Space jackpot! <gasps> it's like a regular jackpot in space. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so I drive five extra cards and then and add them to my hand and then discard two cards. All right, now I have to discard two. You know what this game reminds me of? You Calvin Ball. You're Calvin and Hobbes. It's, that's a group. That's really funny. I can't believe that I've never thought of that. You're absolutely right. He, he just changes just the rules, the rules as he goes all along. the time. Yep. Calvin Ball. Yeah, that's exactly what's from before you were born. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's from oh, before you were you're born. Oh, you're in for a treat. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, you are an amoeba. 88. All right. So, um, this game just got depressing. Let's what go, I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of some of these goals because who needs okay. goals in right. life? I don't. Okay, it's my turn. We're still drawing one and playing oh, one. Oh, we haven't changed any of the rules yet. Uh, let's see here. But not for long. New rule, everybody. Oh, New yeah, everybody. rule. Here we go. Prepare. The wormhole. Once per turn, you may take the top card from the draw pile and immediately play it. This does not count as one of your draw or or play actions. The wormhole comes in very early in play in this particular game, and it adds a whole other layer of randomness to the game. That rule is in effect, and I'm gonna do it, man. Draw it and play it. New goal, landing party. Uh-oh. Uh, if you have the expendable crewman on the table, along with any two of the following, captain, doctor, scientist, and engineer, you win the game. Oh. Well, well, By the way, I like it. I like it when the expendable crewman comes in because whenever there's an expendable crewman around anywhere, I feel invincible. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just start. I just start doing all kinds of stupid stuff. <laughs> Is this wormhole optional? Or uh, it is optional. It says okay. once per turn you may just take pick a up card to a card. Play. Yeah, yeah, and it doesn't count toward your draw oh, and play okay. kind of thing. Cool. It's kind of like a bonus. The wormhole is really it's a matter of do you feel lucky? Excited. I'm feeling lucky. Feel I lucky. think I'm going to do it. Wormhole? I'm going to do oh, here it. We go. Here we go. What's in the wormhole, Jordan? Distress, Distress call. call. Oh. All players draw one card from the deck. Uh, maybe uh, clockwise around the table, starting sure. with you. Uh, right. I like starting with me. All right. Okay. And now it is to me. Now, Jordan, you still get to draw one and play I one. I still get to draw one and play one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm not quite sure what to make out of that I expression. <laughs> I was like, so is many he happy choices. or hanged yeah, or what happened? Yeah, it's like, is he happy or? I'm, I'm just paralyzed by the, the variety the of possibilities yeah, here. His breakfast just right. settled. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ah. Ah, okay. New goal. New goal. 42! 42! Oh, okay, it's happening. The player who has the intergalactic travel guide and the computer on the table wins. Okay. It is the answer to everything. We will point out, of course, that all of these cards are uh, royalty-free. They are not explicitly endorsing any copyrighted... Oh, yeah. Of course uh, not. Yeah. 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 You can't copyright yeah. a number. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is just a generic Boring. laser pistol. Yeah. There like are so from, many from teleporters. Laser code. Teleport from everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. <laughs> The Time Traveler. Oh, Alex! No. My favorite card is the Time Traveler, definitely. It's pretty obvious why. I love you, Matt Smith. I think way back at our first goal, you'd be halfway to winning. Yes. Yeah. Sadly, the goals have changed. I know. Well, and yeah, so has my hands. Unfortunately, <laughs> I was like, I had so many goals. <laughs> so many goals. Besides world domination, which I think is probably everybody's goal, uh, and to have gold. I really want to get my own TV show off the ground. Here we go, wormhole, wormhole. I made it out of clay. <laughs> <laughs> I just I thought it sounded like the dreidel song. Yeah. Wormhole, wormhole, wormhole. I made, I made it, it out, out of clay. clay. <laughs> when I put stuff in it, it always goes away. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. The wormhole made the game a little more interesting, mostly because you say wormhole a lot and that word's kind of funny. Here we go. I am wormholing. Starship fuel! The new goal is starship fuel. The player who has the starship and the energy crystals ah. in front of them. Like, Not uh, dilithium. I just, just got a <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible flashback. No, Jordy, I don't want to go in the antimatter chamber. <laughs> Uh, that's Jordy with a J, not a copyrighted Jordy. And uh, now, yeah. I am dra now I am drawing... <laughs> the universal Jordy. Now I'm drawing two cards, okay? And uh, I am going to play a keeper in front of me. Chloe, this is for you. All right. It's the laser sword. Aw, shucks. Starflux is, is super fun, plus the sci-fi milieu. Gotta love it. Chloe's dad invented the lightsaber. Uh, that's, that's why that's relevant. Do you have a lightsaber at home? No, it's like how the cobbler's kid doesn't have any shoes. 
I'm not going to wormhole. Wow, oh, Jordan wormhole. choosing yeah. to not use hey, the man. wormhole. An interesting, an interesting move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Just mixing it up a bit. It is. You yeah. know what? Hey, because if you use it all the time, it's not special. Not That's right. You, like you know what? He's absolutely right. If you use the wormhole all the time, it isn't special. The wormhole <laughs> should be for anniversaries <laughs> and Valentine's Day. I'm, I'm partial to the wormhole because we've been having a lot of fun with the wormhole. All right, what do we got? You know, I... A keeper, the holographic, holographic projection. projection. If you have this on the table, you can win with a keeper someone else has on the table as oh, if it were in front oh of you. So all nice. your keepers. Yeah. Right. Dude, that is an unbelievably powerful oh, well, card. All right. No, that card is great. And guess what? What is that? Surprise. Oh. That oh, card is yeah. mine. Oh, oh, no. But when I played that keeper card that let me own everybody else's keeper cards, I thought I had it. I thought I had the game in the bag. And then Will just took it away from me. Yeah, I felt betrayed. Hey, guess what, everybody? I have this holographic projection. Anyone's card on the table can be mine. Hey, a uh, point, point, machine. point of notice. Uh, you now have a malfunctioning what? holographic projection. Son of a bitch! Creeper! Ah! creeper! God damn it! <laughs> I forgot that I had the malfunction creeper in front of me. I can't believe I just did that to Will Wheaton. Suck it. I literally was gonna move the creeper my next turn onto that card. <laughs> I was impressed with Alex when he called out that my uh, holographic projection was going to malfunction. Well spotted. The fact that he didn't notice that, it was hard for me to contain myself as it was happening. Uh, so, <laughs> it, was pretty, it was pretty epic. My favorite moment of this game so far. You know what I've been? I've been hoisted on my own petard. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, nice. I made it so. Yeah, I was gonna say, was that a Captain Patar? Yes. <laughs> Are you guys right. ready yeah, for this? Yeah. yeah. New rule, play all. <laughs> awesome! All right, so. Oh my all. God. Did you just win the game? I don't know, probably not. I should have saved it, but at this point, no, I just this thought this great. would be great. No, all right. This is awesome. Amazing. So I have. Well, now, now, now choose, you, you can choose, choose the okay. order in which you play those yeah. cards. So look at your cards right. and see if you can set it up so that you win the game. When you have to play a lot of cards, you get to choose the order in which they go. That's the only time you get to make a truly strategic decision in flux. Oh my God, but there's, I feel like I'm gonna have to read all and of then these. if you have rule cards. So you're like, I don't want to get cards. I feel like I have to read all these I cards. Read I was not told that would be Alex, reading. Isn't that what they told us when we showed up? They did, all you have to do is read. Actually, I think the words were, being able to read is a big advantage in this game. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> My favorite part of the game so far has been uh, when I played all and uh, my entire hand just, it took about 10 minutes to go through every single card and play it because I had half of the deck. See, oh yeah, these are the- The new goals? The new goals, which right. are Starship Captain and To the Stars. Oh, oh and you have the Starship, so it's a super valuable card. Yes, it is. Yeah. Well, these are actually all things that I'm gonna have to play anyway. So we've got hand limit four, draw four, Play two. And now, now you had play all, this is worse but than you've statistics. already played more than two, so keep this card in exactly. your hand because the rule was changed. Oh, exactly. All right? Uh, now, uh, if you well, want to. Well, you know what? To, I don't want you because surprise, mother. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trap. Oh, no. What is it what? a trap? I don't know. To? I just wanted to surprise everybody. Oh, Chloe. Little Chloe. Chloe was one of those unpredictable, crazy, uh, like like drunk guy on a bar with a loaded gun players. You never really knew what she was going to do. Were you guys surprised? I was. I was very surprised. I was, was so. It was dramatic and it was messy. Very dramatic. And I flourished with yeah. it. A you very did. weird, awkward flourish. Well, and a mouth flourish, which is nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mother fluxers. <laughs> Mother fluxers. Mother fluxers. You know, it's tough to say at this point who's really going to win. I thought for sure Chloe was going to take it when she played half the deck, but. I think really it's up for grabs. I have a feeling Mr. Albrecht is gonna win. He, he knows what he's doing. I always think I can win every game that I play, but I usually don't, so. <laughs> I'll say Will, just because I think he has home field advantage. I have no idea who's gonna win this game. Chloe, pay attention, because I am going to play uh -oh. Exchange Keepers. What? No. Ooh, it's yeah. keeper. No. What, what, okay, no. Read it. You, you, read you it. Can, Surprise! Can. It's a okay. trap. Oh. Oh. Mother flexor. Let's do this. Okay. So oh, I you just got mother flexor. You got mother flexor. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah I, I already. Yeah. So now it cancels 
uh, any single game action in which another player is stealing a s keeper you have on the table, and instead you steal one of their keepers. Oh, oh double trap! Yeah, but wait, wait, wait! I wasn't, I wasn't stealing. Keeper. I was trading. Now you believe you have okay. one more. play I believe play you have left? another play. One more, one more play. Uh. Oh, surprise! Uh. <laughs> this card can be played at any time to cancel a surprise which another player has played. Oh, oh my God! Man. So. Look at that! Amazing! You were like, you thought you had it, and then it turns out that wait, you didn't. I love the look on her face. She's like, wait, wait, what? what? <laughs> so now, wait a minute. So, so you, you still keep, keep your keeper. You keep right. your keeper. But she keeps her keeper. She keeps her keeper so. because you canceled her surprise, okay. but that action that still get, happens. Yes. Correct. So you so you can still exchange because you because the action happened. <gasps> right. Yeah. You just, just stopped her from you stopping her your trap. first action. That's right. Boy. Jesus Christ. So now this game is you get this intense. I think I'm burning like twenty know. Yeah. Wow. thousand calories playing this game. There's a lot of cardio on this okay. game. Okay. Yeah. So going back in time a little we're bit. We're going back in time, yeah. which is exciting and appropriate for the theme. Uh, the intergalactic travel guide is yours. Okay, and what is but yours? But in return, no, no, no. I've always wanted a starship. No, 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 no. Yeah, it does you make give sense. Me a starship. Starships are it's awesome. It's like having a great vacation. Yeah, yeah. Well, I discovered this game this morning, and I'm happy to say I'm already a master. Jordan will now flourish. Oh, I consider myself fluoride. I'll put my expendable crewman down. Oh, that was a <laughs> so that expendable crewman is protecting all your other cards. Yeah, because now if, if a bullet is fired, happen, he gets it first. Yeah, oh, he gets it first. At any time the player discards or takes away one of your creepers, they must take this one instead. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I miss the wormhole. <laughs> worm. Evil! Oh no, oh, I have no, the Dr. evil creeper! Evil if you have any keepers in play, you must choose one to attach this to. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the evil doctor. All right, I'm taking one. Right? All right, take, you're that, taking one and, and playing one. one. Playing one. Oh, do you want the honors of reshuffling <sighs> the... Reshuffler. Reshuffling. The captain. Uh. The captain. The starship. But that's no longer the victory. Ah! Oh. Ah! 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 You thought you won, but you won. <laughs> This is my impression of Jordan. Hey guys, guess what? I think I'm gonna win. Jordan was a quiet, scheming kind of guy who needed to scheme a little bit more before executing on his schemes. Uh, could I do that to everybody? Maybe. Oh, uh, what are you gonna do? Well, first off. Are, are you gonna play a card called <laughs> move? I, yeah, I think I might. <laughs> I think all my cards say that. First off, um, shoot your doctor with the little laser pistol. Oh, thank you, that mm. makes my evil creeper go away. This is true. Oh God, you're infecting Kaylee with brain parasites, aren't you? Brain par- No, I wish that I had a card to do that. That would be amazing. Um, now let's play one. Any, okay, I'm gonna try okay. this one, which is, uh, what do you want to do? Remove any card you want from the discard pile. So let me take the discard oh, pile. Oh no. <clears throat> Interesting. <laughs> I think I will give oh, Kaylee Brand a you! Yeah! You Holy s was possible! You son of a bitch! <laughs> when Will said, are you going to put a brain parasite on Kaylee, which of course you can't do in the game, except if you have one card and the brain parasite happens to be in the discard pile, two things that should never happen after he had said that. So the fact that I was able to play that, pull that card, and then put a brain parasite on the uh, engineer, AKA Kaylee, was a pretty amazing moment. And I think everybody appreciated it. <laughs> Except maybe Kaylee. Chloe, it is your turn. Draw two. So we've got a distress call, which is all players draw one card from the deck. Um, and then we've got a new goal, which is the player who has the doctor and the captain on the table wins. All right, my turn. I love that I this game could be five minutes or an hour. Or this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to draw two and use them, but the first thing I'm going to do is actually draw two cards. So let's see. Uh, new goal is uh, the robots have turned against us, which is evil and the robots. This means that the evil creeper is oh, actually good. God, but like now, because I have to play both of them, uh, the new new goal is the power of evil, which uh, is the power of the dark side. If you have the dark oh, side in front boy. of you. Uh, then you uh, then you are uh, currently winning the game, and guess who has the dark force in front of him? Me, oh baby. Oh God. Me, and that will be the end of my turn because I've played two. Jordan, it's your turn. Now we haven't been using the double agenda. 
Can we choose not to use oh, the double agenda? Oh, you know what? That is a good question, yeah. Alex. Let me double check here. If, if not, a second goal can now be can. played, okay. but you don't have to play a new a new goal card. Got it. I guess though, oh, you know, sure. in the interest because I because totally then I would have done that. Okay. I would have done that. So good call. Yeah. So now a robot uprising or the power of the dark side. So uh, we are both halfway to, to victory. We just have to find the We're just evil too good. card. All right, Jordan. Okay, okay. Are we already getting to the bottom of the deck again? We're shovel again. Holy yeah, dude. Cow. This is like this is the longest well, this is game this. ever. Unless. This is, oh, this hang is on. Wait a minute. What's happening? What's happening? What are you doing? This is another, another evil plot? Jordan, he was sneaky. Like he was hoarding his cards and was quiet and then would be like, oh, I've got this master plan. And then he would explain to us what his plan was. I hesitate to say it because I've, you know, every time I've said my plan before, it's backfired. This but is true. So many memorable moments that I would rather forget. Do but. it. Let's see. Holographic, Holographic projection. projection. Oh, which means If anything. I have this on the table, I can win with a keeper someone else has on the table as if it were in front of you. That's okay, first that's card. very good. Now I am going to play Strange Powers. The player who has oh. unseen force and energy being but you wins the game. No, 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 no. but that's we not what the... that means. I really thought I had it. I had the cards, I had the plan. I just hadn't read the fine print on that brain parasite card. You just do it, made Will win! win. Is that what it means? It means that I win because you've got brain parasites! I don't know why Jordan forgot that he had brain parasites. And he gave a terrific James Bond villain speech and then handed victory to me. That feeling of having defeat snatched from the jaws of victory, I think to me that's what Starflux is all about. You should not have explained your plans! Victory! I won and I didn't even have to do anything! I can't believe I won the game! That was amazing. That was I, amazing. Listen. Well played, sir. Listen, uh, I'm gonna go interview you guys in the lounge of almost won but didn't. Like it? And then I'm gonna go downstairs and give myself a trophy. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah! Great job, Jordan! How awesome was that game? It, well, the good news is the game was actually awesome. The ending was, was the best part. Oh, boy. I love the way the brain parasite actually works. It's not just a card. It actually <laughs> made my brain not work. Um, well, listen, unrelated to, uh, to you actually making it possible for me to win the game, there are two tickets to Guadalajara, Mexico, um, downstairs in your green room. Please enjoy them. Oh, boy. Thank Have you fun. all. Don't get kidnapped. Thank you all for playing on, uh, on, on Tabletop today. Are taking the Brain Parasite today? card with me? Oh, yes. Oh, oh my God. You don't need to. You can get some while you're the there. I'm going to go downstairs and talk to myself about how much I won the game. <sighs> it was this close. Yeah, we all were. I would like to welcome to the Tabletop Wall of Victory, Will Wheaton, the winner of the game. Can you believe we got this guy to be on our show? He is a very big deal. We're very lucky. Will Wheaton. Congratulations, you played like a boss, and when you saw weakness, you exploited it. But you were never a d about it. It is my honor and my pleasure to present to you the Tabletop Trophy of Awesomeness. I'm going to write your name on this trophy right now. Will Super Awesome Awesome. And this trophy is yours. Would you like to say anything to the folks at home? I'd really like to thank Jordan Mechner for forgetting he had brain parasites. I could not have done it without him. You're a good sport, Will Wheaton. Now, I know that you are too big of a man to accept this trophy and keep it with you. So I'm just gonna take it, put it back in our prop room, and dream about how much time I could have spent with you. This guy. We'll see you next time on Tabletop.